Hello guys, I guess you guys come here because you want to know what a mechanical engineering is about. So let's find out with me. I am Shanatip, or you can call me A. I am a senior student at Srivinton International Institute of Technology or SIIT in Thammasat University. In this video, you are going to see what a mechanical engineering student are going to do on a daily basis. So if you guys are ready, please come along for a day in mechanical engineering at SIIT. ขอชาเขียวนมเย็นหวานน้อยที่หนึ่งครับแล้วก็พายทูน่าที่หนึ่งครับโอเค so guys I'm going to have my breakfast here so after this I'm going to see Ajahn Pawat he is one of the faculty members in mechanical engineering program then after that I'm going to go to my class at 9 a.m. Uh, it's a power generation class we can spend there for three hours then I'm going to go to do my senior project in the mechanical engineering lab and who knows what gonna come up comes up after that okay so see you guys in a bit so it's almost time um i'm going to see ajan pawak in the mechanical engineering office so let me give you something okay so we normally call mechanic mechanical engineering as me in this video so you guys gonna hear me saying me several times so if you're ready let's come with me and Good morning, Kap. Good morning, Kap. Kap. So, Ajahn, what are you doing? Uh, I'm preparing for the class that we are going to 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 do it together today. Okay. Kap. So today I got my friends here to come along. And oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. They just want to know like what can they do with mechanical in mechanical engineering degree. What do you think? Since you are the fourth year student right now, so right. you should have some ideas on this, right? Well, yeah, I know that I can get into a manufacturing industry. Uh, also, automobile industry, yeah, and also machine design, robotics, mm. aerospace. Yeah. Okay, and also like uh, the course that we are going to study. Oh yeah, the power generation. Power generation and energy as well. Yeah, right? that's right. And if you remember correctly, uh, when we studied uh, fluid mechanics, uh -huh. I also gave you some examples of the sport industry that right, yeah. you can apply the knowledge of fluid mechanics to the uh, sport in uh, to to be utilized in the sport industry as well. Yeah, yeah. We also have material science, uh, nanotechnology, and also biomedical engineering. And also since this the rise of AI era, yeah. so you know that with ME, you can also use this knowledge to apply in the AI industry as well. Mm -hmm. And also to create some new products, yeah. new innovations and some smart things. And I also know that at SIT you have like three tracks that you can choose, right? Right, right. Yeah. We have three tracks. So the first track is the senior project track mm -hmm. that you will work on the project with our faculty members here. Yep. The second one is the uh, student exchange track that will allow uh, students to go abroad and study in our partner universities. Yeah. Yeah, and the third one is the extended training track. We also have some of uh, your friends mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in this semester going for the extended training. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, okay, I think, yeah, that's all the matter that I came to see you today. So I think I'll see you in the class in a bit then. Yeah, let me prepare a bit more and then I'll see you in a bit in the class. Okay, right there. Okay. Thank you, Kapajan. Okay. Kap Welcome, Kap. All right, guys, it's almost 9 a.m. now. So this class today is power generation and environmental impacts. So in this class, we're going to study about a gas turbine cycle and also a ranking cycle, which we use in many applications in our everyday life. We also study about uh, renewable energy like solar power and also wind power. Yeah, Ajahn is coming in the class very soon, so I'll see you guys later after the class.
Okay guys, so I just finished my class and now I'm heading to have my lunch. So you guys can come along and see where I'm going for lunch. Hello guys, uh, here's my friend Non. Non, say hi. Hi. Oh, hi. We are going to a noodle shop near SIIT. So what, you like, what would you like to eat, Non? Obviously a noodle. A noodle, yeah. okay. Maybe a beef noodle is good. Yeah, it's not far from SIIT so we can walk from SIIT to the restaurant. Okay. Yeah, see you at the restaurant then. Yep. So I'm here on the fourth floor of the ME Laboratories. As you can see it is pretty crowded today because it is Wednesday afternoon. Every Wednesday afternoon, third year ME student will come here to do their ME labs. Okay, so on the left side, you can see that there are labs which have machines and tools that are ready for students to be used to do their own labs. Good thing about being here is that you can apply your knowledge from what you have learned in the classroom to be used in the hands-on experience in this lab. On this side, you can see it is a site for the senior and postgrad students that they use to do their research and uh, some work and their research project. And on this side, you can see that we have the 3D printer at, that is used from time to time. And also on the left side, you can see we have the workshop area. There's a machines and tools that it comes in handy when you need them. You cannot be called mechanical engineering without using these two. Apart from this lab, there are also other machines and tools that are in the nearby buildings of SIAT. Right now, I'm on the fifth floor of this building. You can see we have another section for the third year ME labs. And also, we also have the section for the senior student to be working on their senior project right here. Well, this is my station for me for doing my work for the senior project. So normally I sit here and do some design and also give like a discussion with my friends to do the project. It's a bit messy around here, but uh, yeah, I should sit here and then do my own work. Okay. Hello. Oh. Hello. How is it going? I heard you have a problem with the design. Yeah, well, um, yeah. so I suggest you might need to find the spec or the spring first. Like, mm -hmm. what is the free length? What is the tension that you need? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Okay. Well, I got a friend here yeah, um, okay. <laughs> watching us talking. Okay. So I kind of have a question like, what do SIT uh, have? Like, so I'm talking about the project on um, collaboration with organizations outside SIT. Okay, okay. So in SIT, we do have some collaboration with outside organizations like industries, university, research institute, mm -hmm. uh, many actually. For example, uh, our project here has some collaboration with outside industry. Yep. We work on trying to make a battery swapping mm -hmm. mechanism for drones. I think we also have like some collaboration with research institute like Drake, uh, Narit. Right. And, and we also have some Ajahn working with NSTDA. Mm -hmm. That actually in, in ME, I think we have Ajahn Jo as well. Yeah. That he worked with NSTDA. I kind of wonder, like, what do students get when they um, enter these organizations okay. and collaborations? Yeah. So, well, I, I would say two things, two main things. One, yeah. he gets experience, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. He gain experience on working with experts. 
not only you get experience, you're gonna get opportunity to show your skill, mm -hmm. right, to know more people, mm -hmm. and that I think that contribute a lot to your future. Okay, crap. Okay. okay, thank you so much. Yeah, I right, well, okay. Yeah, I better be working on a project. So <laughs> okay. Yeah. Don't forget to give me progress, like okay, sure. This afternoon. <laughs> Got it. Come. Okay. Yeah. Okay, guys, I'm gonna be working on my project. So, yep. I see you in a bit. Okay. Okay, guys. So, it's almost two thirty p.m. I have been working for half an hour already. Well, let me talk a bit about my project. So, my project here is called a drones battery swapping system. So, what we do is we make a system. We create, we built like a station for the drones to be parked at the station and then swap their battery automatically. Well, we've been designing a lot of things to be manufactured and used in the real life. Yeah, we get a lot of work done and we try a lot of things on the project. That's almost all about it, about my project. Oh. Hi, Wanan. Hi. Where are you going? Uh, going to look the experiments on the rooftop. Right. Can I tag along? Yeah, okay, you can just... join us. Okay, sure. Cool, cool, cool. Well, so it's your project, right? Yeah, uh, our project is to use the cost effective solar mm -hmm. absorber. So we use base wood, which is very cost effective. Okay, yeah. is, so is that uh, salt water? Yeah. So basically, you're trying to make salt water drinkable? Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, what about the, the black it's coating? It's nano thing? coating material. Okay. Yeah. We <laughs> use it to absorb the sunlight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as this wool have micro channel, it will uh, absorb the water and heat the water. And then it condenses to become fresh water. Ooh, okay. Yeah. So I can drink it right now. Yeah, you can try. Okay, maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> so you think you're gonna finish this like before deadline? I hope so. Okay, I hope yeah. so too. <laughs> okay, we just finished with Anand's group and I am come downstairs to pack my things up and we're gonna go to the automate club downstairs. Okay, so now I'm here in the automate club. So you guys come along and see what they're doing here. Pak, so yes. what are you guys doing here? Uh, now we are working on the engine tuning. You know, our club use an uh, internal combustion engine, right? Yes. Uh, for engine tuning, we have to look at many things like uh, the fuel tank or the air fuel ratio mm -hmm. or the air consumption at the nozzle inlet. Mm -hmm. So that's what we are working on. Okay, so this is a chassis that you talk about, right? Yeah, it's a real chassis and it's fabricated like halfway. So what's it made of, what's this one? Uh, what's the material? Uh, the material for this one is the uh, steel pipe. Mm -hmm. uh, basically, it's a STK400. Uh, it's a JIS standard uh, pipe that we commonly use in Thailand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I heard from Automate that you guys are in the kind of tournament as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me more about it? Uh, it's about the Thailand Society of Automotive Engineering. Mm -hmm. They organize a competition for engineering students all around Thailand to participate and compete in a uh, Formula style racing car. Yeah. Right. So your car gonna be in one of the tournaments. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. yeah. It's good to have a look around. And then yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. Let's wrap up for today's video. So today we have been to the classroom, ME lab, and we have seen some of the senior project of ME student. I hope you guys see what it's like to be an ME student on a typical day. So thank you for watching, and this is a day at mechanical engineering at SIIT.